you got Josh here, so uh, I know what you all are thinking. Uh, Josh, what's going on here? So uh, this is a series that I've been wanting to do, or a type of video I've been wanting to do for many years. Uh, there's many reasons why I haven't. One of them being uh, most of the time when YouTubers get exposed and the other YouTubers do like reviews and shows the fake video and explains why. Uh, there will be, I think, three outcomes to me doing this video. Number one, Mr. Dalek JD will be like, Oh yeah, I, it, it's a fake, I faked this video, I know, views are bad, had to do it. That's one outcome. Outcome number two, he gets super butt hurt and this video gets taken down. Now if this video gets taken down, I will do a video to, uh, updating to this. So yeah, or there's option number three, which I hope it isn't, and that is... He is like so delusional that he believes his own lies. All right, so let's get straight into this video. Black Ops 4 Zombies is the gift that keeps on giving. Trying to pause, he's like, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, if you lie about stuff. <laughs> As today, I'm going to be showing you two newly solved impossible Easter eggs. And if you've been keeping up recently, you'll know that a ton of previously unsolved Easter eggs have been solved, which have all been impossible. And the two that I have for you in this video are not. You know, I don't get it why he says they're impossible. You know, the one Easter egg that is real, and that is the flying cart kind of guy thing here, I swear that was solved years ago, but let's get back into this. No exception. They're both on the map Voyage of Despair, and one of them is going to go down as one of my new favorite Easter eggs of all time, as you are literally in a flying car. Yeah, so right off the bat, let's wait, let's keep watching for a second. Your eyes really don't deceive you, that is... So, uh, here's, here's right here where I can explain why this is fake. Uh, number one, you can see just how skinny the vehicle is. So, you know, this Easter egg is real. Me and my friends did it. Uh, again, you know what, I'm gonna get, to, I'm gonna keep everything to later and then explain kind of why. But number one, as you can see, I hope I have my mouse on screen, but, like, if you're playing with four players, it, this just wouldn't work. Really happening, and we'll show you how to do it in this video. Now, we're calling this, again, impossible Easter eggs, and you'll see why when we get into it. And this wouldn't have been possible without Sirius, who is a legend in the zombies community, who is reverse engineered code for Black Ops 4 zombies to find these Easter eggs, which the world never would have seen. See, what he's saying is the reverse to, to find in the coding to see these Easter eggs. Yeah, one of them is fake. I, I gotta kill I, All right. In order to do these two Easter eggs, there are a few prerequisites. The first one is that you have to open up the map and get the Sentinel artifact. Well, and from yeah, there, that's you need like to do the, the basic. first two steps of the main Easter egg quest. The first being to activate Pack a Punch, yep. which is by linking yep. all four of the pedestals. And then moving on to the that first main true. step of the Easter egg, which is the clock step that are going to have clocks but only four of them are going to have a symbol in the same room those symbols being for yeah fire, so this is water, this is the basic kind of the easter do, egg step the for that these six locations and look for these symbols and when you find them you then want to know everything is out of the way for you to go ahead and do this easter egg so you now need to go on to round nine and specifically the round has to be round nine no it's not there's no easter egg ever in zombies or any step that says has to be round nine now yes there are round based like special rounds like on ascension you has to be space monkeys to actually hit the buttons but if you fail it, you can just wait for another round. There's no specific exact round nine or you fail. That's never been. So it, it, um, it's just, it just blows my mind. It, it's just, yeah, it's ridiculous. To work. So you have to come all the way here in the poop deck to this corner. No, you, you don't. You want to hold your use button. No, that'll be God. square X or F, depending on your platform. You want to hold that button down for one second. And then after <clears> that, continue holding it, but then crouch. And then oh walk in this God. path with your use button held down the entire time. Yeah, let me pause again. This is the most ridiculous BS ever. This, this, this is ridiculous. In the exact path that I do, you have to get this absolutely spot on to the path that i'm doing if you are out by a hair you will mess up here see how he says if it has to be exact or you don't get it you want to know why he says that because if you do mess up or the fact that nobody's gonna get this because this is fake this is not real it's like i i don't know it blows my mind it's just ridiculous let's keep let's keep watching so when you get to this moment, you want to do a little bit of a curve round towards the aft decks. And once you get here, looking at this specific part of the wall, you then want to melee twice. You then want to stand up, change your weapon, and you...
you will get the Kraken and the Homunculus for free. Now, no this sounds like one of those fake youtube videos where you get a free ray gun see like he just kind of exposed himself now and yeah, it's one of the fake let me explain something right here number one there is already an easter egg to get the crack and you all know it remember you get the stoker you kill the stoker you get the key there are five locations on the map there will be one box that spawns at a time in one of those five locations you have to fill out find the one then Find the next one at a random of the remaining four places, then keep going until you fill three chests up, and the third chest will give you one of, I think, six or seven items that correspond to the location where you have to go for the Kraken to drop. The Kraken arm to come out, I love it, it's cool. Here's like, I'm showing, I'm pretty sure I'm showing like the footage here of it, the Kraken arm dropping, the, the free Kraken. Why would there be a second way to get it? There wouldn't be. This is the most ridiculous BS I've ever seen in my life like come on man got out the mystery box for doing some weird button combination but that is genuinely how you do now it. i'm gonna play this again it's not so you can see exactly it's not oh works. my so god go oh and you're wondering oh how did he do it how did he do it well we'll uh, i'll explain that in a second and there is no come way on man. god's green earth that anyone would have ever figured out how to do that yeah you know why no one would ever figure out how to do that because it's not real uh, come on man come on mr jd he, he, i know you're desperate for views but come on you, you can't be making some bs there you're like no one ever would have found it yeah because it's not real <laughs> and it's not real man come on like that is just the most bizarre combination of requirements oh that i don't God. think this would have ever been solved genuinely for any future voyage of despair easter egg runs where you're at that step and you've completed it by round nine and you're on round nine you can do this easter egg and you'll guarantee a yeah the other thing that's sketchy is let, let's let's watch back for a second here at that step let's watch here yeah so let me let's pause right now for a second uh uh can any of you guys ex uh say what is the problem here and what's going on so uh let's 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 go back to a few frames for a second uh, uh let's go back a, a few frames so we can see here uh, the equipment is not homunculus and as we click forward here we can see that he now has the homunculus right here uh <laughs> so here's the problem uh he does not have any, Mr. JDG does not have any elixirs that make zombies not go after you. He did not have homunculus, and the, it, it right here proves it. I don't know what, but I don't know what cheat he's using, but none of the zombies are going towards him via meaning he is using some sort of. Uh, I don't know what it's called in the coding, but it's it's pretty much like using in plain sight. The zombies don't see you as a target on the map, so they just go to one random spot on the map. It, like, he's cheating, like right here. Like, he's using them, them mods and them glitches. That's how he gave himself the weapon and this. You'll, I, I'll, I'll pause it when we see the actual menu, my menu on screen, but yeah. On round nine, you can do this Easter egg and you'll guarantee a free Kraken and Homunculus. But I know you're all here to see that flying car, so let me show you how to do it. So for the flying car Easter egg, you need to repeat everything that I just told you to do up until you've completed the clock step of the main Easter egg. From that point, we're going to be doing one part of the shield upgrade. So first, so you're going to need to build yourself the shield and then you're going to need to go into... So this right here, this entire sequence here is actually real. This, this, these four things where you're getting the safe, opening the safe, getting the code corresponding, let me, I'll just, I'll play it. To the mail rooms, look at this safe and shield bash it. And so it yeah, th this is, this is correct. Pick up. This Around is real. Map, there's going to be four safes that we're going to be using this lock pick on. And there's going to be four locations. Yep, where so this is correct. And then a corresponding so this right number, here so is all correct. The mail room, everything, uh, uh, keep placing it, bashing it down. All of that is real once that's done and all correct you should see in the cargo hold here that there is this big all right so yeah this is correct so once you complete the four safes you get the corresponding things here i thought this would be yes but this Car this is actually real it with this it. footage here with it it's gonna sink into the ground and it's gonna spawn flying around yeah the so air. that now, is this correct is a known easter egg but never have we known that you could actually get inside now, the car. So now, once you get to now, now, he says you can get in the car. That's where, that's where number two fake comes in. 
Now that's wrong. Used round nine, you're gonna repeat the oh exact my God, no, no. For the free kraken and homunculus. I'm gonna go to the oh corner of the Lord. poop deck here. You're gonna hold your interact button for one second and then crouch. Okay, so let me explain something right here, right now. If we could actually get into there, that would be cool. If that was actually real, you see, here's the problem. Uh, the only instance I can remember is, remember in Grodd, Crovy, when you can get on the dragon and ride it? That's the only sequence, the scripted sequence, where you're in something and you're moving, your character's moving. That's the only time. And, getting on the dragon, you hold X and you get onto it. The flying car, there is no interaction button, well, the interaction button to activate it, which, evidently enough, does spawn a power-up. And you can reactivate him every couple rounds and he'll drop a power up that just doesn't seem to disappear. So it has like a weird property there, weird scripting for that, or a weird uh, exception for that power up that drops from that. But yeah, they, there's no, you can't get in it. That I'll get into it in a second. But if we could, it would say hold X. And actually, another one that I can remember is Alcatraz. Remember, in Alcatraz, you get on the plane and then that launches you. That's another where it says, hold X to get onto it. There's no where it is that says to get onto it. So, yeah. While still holding down the interact button and then take this bizarre path, which you have to follow exactly as you see it in order for this to work. Oh, no, God. Back the video a few no, times just to make sure you it ain't, ain't gonna exact work. Exactly if you're gonna be trying it yourself. Especially when it comes to this turning bit here at the Aftex. Once you get here, you then want to let go of your interact, melee twice, stand up, switch weapons, and you... <laughs> You will now be teleported into now, the car. and just like that let me pause again so uh, okay so let me let me say something right now he's like you'll be teleported every instance of getting moved to a different area there is always an effect on screen some sort of a blurring effect particle effect the weird transition he's like oh you then you get spawned to here so uh so if you're playing with four players you'll notice this would only fit three so there's your other nail in the coffin uh, this is this is an easter egg that drops power-ups nothing more nothing less see that's the art of clickbait or lying you sprinkle in some truth into it and you actually add a bit of lying into it so then you think oh wait a second if that's true because i've done this easter egg maybe everything else is true it's not you know, me and my friends have been playing zombies for a decade. My one friend is a bit of like a bit into coding and viewed a lot of scripting and coding for zombies and stuff. When I showed him this, same reaction as me. We just laughed. We're like, dude, seriously, no, no, man, it's it's fake. The only thing real about this video is that that yes, this guy spawns in and drops. Which now watching the video. He was talking about two Easter eggs not found was that weird fake getting the second Kraken uh, option or getting the Kraken another way. Which, to be particular, you can actually get the Kraken a second way and that is if your buddy uses the mystery box and knifes it when the Kraken appears, you can grab the Kraken for free and that's the second way. But yeah, that is fake. Getting on here is the second fake thing. I kind of knew that this Easter egg was figured out a while ago. So yeah, let's keep listening. You'll be flying around the Voyage of Despair map no, you won't. with a skeleton driving you around. This is absolutely crazy. You can't shoot whilst in this. You can't melee. You can't do anything. If you do that, you'll be kicked out of the car, but you can throw grenades in it. And what's amazing is that you can repeat this after a few rounds, the flying car will disappear, but you can just go back to the cargo hold, interact with it, and he will come back and fly around. And you can repeat this exact same. See, yeah, that is correct. He'll move around. Zark Okay, that's a fireworks thing. And that path and crouching and meleeing and standing up and swapping weapons. No, and you'll be able God. To do this, every time. this is absolutely one of those Easter eggs which the public should have never, ever found. This has to have been something that the. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> He's like, this is something the public never found. Yeah, because it's not real, man. I know BS when I know BS. And I know this is probably just for fun or something, something something for fun, but like, come on, you don't have to click bait. You got enough subscribers and views, you're good to go, my, my dude. Just for like QA testers or even other developers to test to make sure stuff works. 
and this would never have ever seen the light of day. Like, come on, let's be yeah, real. Yeah, because it's not so real. Specific. <laughs> no one would ever have known that exact pathway. Crouching, oh, holding down God. the interact button. Just the, the thing at the end, it's so bizarrely specific. But it just goes to show you the breadth and detail of the Easter eggs that are hidden within Call of Duty Zombies all these years later. It is absolutely insane to see stuff like this no. actually come to fruition as it's a not... Easter egg. Let me know what you guys think of this down below in the comment section if you enjoyed the video. It's like, you know, I think about this. I think there's some BS is what I think of <laughs> about this. Oh my goodness. Final bone pop. All right, so I found it. So I knew something because I watched the video like four or five times. So the many things that make this video fake is number one, none of the zombies are attacking him. They're all just avoiding him. So that's red flag. No, that's strike number one that he's clearly using a mod. And number two, you can see to the left here that he indeed is using a cheats or uh, some sort of mod menu for the PlayStation, I am assuming. You can see that the god mode is on. You can see unlimited ammo is on. Well, yeah, you can see all that stuff there. All I can say is that the top thing kind of kind of says stuff that technically he could have scripted himself into that vehicle. And, oh, you know what? I got it now. I got it how it works. So that flying vehicle, he could have tagged himself to that vehicle and via clipped himself to the vehicle. I don't know the whole technical terms, but he basically no clipped, placed himself in the vehicle, clipped himself to the vehicle, and that is how he was flying around. So yeah, in the end, the only thing real uh, about this video is the flying car thing and that's not going in the flying car so i'm kind of disappointed that he did this i'm not sure why yeah i guess he's desperate for views but like look at my views come on you can't be that desperate like come on again there's no hate it's just i just wanted to make a quick video uh there kind of like a little bit of exposing and stuff like if anyone needs views it's me but i would never stoop to lying basically if you if you lie someone's gonna figure it out and i guess that was me well i think others did in the comments of this video so yeah that's about it ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching and just like always a pa 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 pace yeah uh not exactly sure what everyone's still doing here the video is over, it's done. This is like the outro because there's nothing else to see. It's over, it's done. So everybody can now switch off to another uh, video.